How's it going, folks? I just thought I'd give you a bit of a uh, quick roundup on what's going on with the property here at the moment. Um, there's not going to be a uh, long clip this weekend. Um, happy Easter, by the way, to everyone who celebrates Easter, and happy uh, long weekend for everyone who doesn't. Um, yeah, we're still doing a few bits and pieces around here, getting ready for the landscaping. Uh, happy to say that um, they're finally caught up with everything after the uh, couple of weeks of rain we've had and we've signed the contracts, put a deposit down, and fingers crossed they'll start by the end of next week. Uh, but what I've decided to do, just in case they start early, is, uh, yeah, um, get my tail into gear and finish all the uh, small little odd jobs we have around the place that need to be done before they can get out the back here to do the fence. But, um, yeah, I thought I'd show you where we're up to at the moment. I'll uh, give you a bit of a gander. And, yeah, hopefully we'll have the full video looking at um, the whole layout of the property, uh, either once the walls have gone up, or um, yeah, maybe before, we'll see how we go. So anyway, I'll flip the camera around. So as I said, we're down the back of the property and I've spent most of this week um, in my spare time digging out these mammoth things. Uh, these are some Chinese Celtus. I mean, it's gonna be, we are very sad to see these guys go. We've been pollarding these guys for uh, about a decade now, turning them into compost, all their new growth. Um, but as a result, they've turned into um, some very um, uh, ornery beasts um, to try and remove. So this one here, just to show you, started off as a um, probably, I don't know, uh, an 8 inch diameter tree and then just over the years it's just turned into this gnarly mess. These roots here would have been going up into the old tin wicking beds we had up here and they would have been responsible for a lot of the root intrusions we had which made those wicking beds pretty much well duds and why I no longer make wicking beds that way, preferring to use the IBC cages. So uh, this one here was the worst one to get out so far. Um, you may not look it, but it is definitely off. Uh, there's probably one little root down the bottom there holding it in place, and there's no way I can lift these out, so we'll wait for the earth moving equipment. Next one up, I did yesterday afternoon after I finished the other one, and it is, yeah, pretty much well out. There's one little root down the bottom that I could cut off but yeah, my back is not up to it at the moment, so we're just gonna leave him in there and let them pull him out. And the last one is this one here that I've been working on this morning. This one I thought I'd do a little bit differently, mainly because I've paced out uh, where the posts need to go. We're getting the same sort of retaining wall as that one there put in. And I have a feeling a post needs to go smack bang between where my foot is here and probably about 30 um, centimeters or a foot the other side, just a rough pacing. Uh, they're 200, um, sorry, 2,000 long sleepers or 2 metre long sleepers, which is what, oh, a bit over 6 foot. So this one, I thought I'd try to live out one of my childhood dreams. It wasn't a very serious dream, but I thought I'd have a crack at a bit of archaeology and see if I could ex excavate um, the soil around from all the roots and, yeah, then come out and chop off as long as sections as possible. I think I've pretty much all got them now, so I'm about to um, hook into them with the sabre saw and cut the rest of them off. Uh, these guys luckily don't have a tap root, a large one that goes down, the Chinese Celtus, they've just got some smaller roots. And I think I've pretty much all gone down, those ones down there are about as low as they go. So I just got a lot of um, small ones and uh, what's that, uh, five major ones to chop off. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a look at that, uh, just quickly with a bit of time lapse. And then later on this afternoon, I'll take you for a bit of a wander and just show you some other bits and pieces going on over there. So there we go, folks. Looks like there was just one root there holding it all in that I didn't see, so that's all sorted. Now, uh, the only thing I have left to do is just take um, the rest of this fence off back up to the house there. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a retaining wall coming down there that matches up with that post there, just to level all that off and all those um, textured concrete sleepers will be used out the front somewhere. And so there'll be a large retaining wall to that height to the fence there and then down here. Um, it's going to start off down the back at pretty much well, where are we? Down in the back corner at 600, which is roughly two foot, 600 millimetres. And then hopefully it will blend in nicely um, with just the soil level just below that corner over here. So that's the plan. Um, what I decided to do was remove these stumps before the guys get here. because they've only got a small earth moving equipment. I may have mentioned it before. And <laughs> I can guarantee you there's no way they could pull that monstrosity out um, just with one of those little earth movers. Uh, as for what else I have to do out here, um, I have to 
Well, I was going to move this um, compost cage, but we're going to leave that for now. But I have to harvest all this turmeric and move this bed, basically empty that out. And all the soil from that bed there will be going into one of these spare IBCs I have around the place, just for now. And they'll be driving their earth moving equipment down the back there. Uh, I haven't set up the garlic in the veggie pod yet, just been too busy with other bits and pieces. Haven't done the black soldier fly farm either, but they're still um, chewing through our compost. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, and after all that is done, the next last job I have to do is pretty much remove all this rock. This was the rock that was underneath the aquaponics area. Um, yeah, for the time being it had to go somewhere, so it went here. I'm going to <laughs> shovel it. Uh, triple handle it, uh, shovel it into a couple of containers just under this end here of the hoop house, move the other stuff down the back because when they um, do the driveway, all my spare cages and whatnot, uh, when they do the driveway, I've also got a couple of Chinese elms to take out there too yet, um, they're going to do a small retaining wall with the neighbours and a Bessa brick wall out to here and then sort of grade this on the angle down through that where that rock is towards out the back so we no longer have um, puddles of water down around this area here uh, which is directly off our back little um, seating area so there we go um, that's pretty much all the plans well folks I didn't get to finish everything yesterday um, all we got done yesterday was taking off the top rail and the wire from the fence uh, pretty much all took out the stumps and filled the holes back in just for these two here and <laughs> These guys down the back here, yeah, they're going to have to use their earth moving equipment for them. I uh, do need to come along here and just pick up all the uh, bits of stump and root that we chopped out. Uh, down the back here, we've moved the uh, blueberries out of the way. I need to get the trolley down to do um, old mother blueberry. And I'm very happy to say we have some berries on the way. Uh, down here, we have some rock from around the place. Um, that's turmeric bed rock, and that is asparagus bed rock. And that is because, oh, we've also had a little bit of rain today, which has made work fun. Um, I have taken out the um, turmeric bed down the back here. The turmeric bed, this one was in for around about four years, I think, three to four years. And yeah, it's one of those things here in our climate, we can just leave it in the ground the whole time. So yeah, pretty much we'll just pick out turmeric whenever we need it. But as you can see, uh, not a bad harvest from it at all. I'll give you a bit of a look at it in a tick um, up, up underneath the house. Um, but yeah, very impressed with what we got out of there. And just to give you a bit of a look here, we've got a lovely papaya there as a volunteer. The mother was actually in the turmeric bed here a couple of years ago until she um, brought it out. So we've got that one there with a couple of fruit on it. I didn't actually know that one had fruit on it. It was hidden by the um, turmeric. And this one over here is a different variety. I think this is closer to the um, one from the back stairs. So I'm not too sure how that happened. Uh, obviously the um, seeds from this one would have come from the um, flying foxes when they dropped it. But this one here may have come in in compost. Um, all the uh, tops of the turmeric uh, ended up being used as mulch, just chop and drop underneath the mango tree here. So the asparagus bed here had to be removed, so Bianca and I came out trying to remove the crowns, that was a load of fun I can tell you. Uh, the reason it needs to be moved is because the um, uh, concrete garden edging or retaining wall garden edging needs to go right up against the front stairs there. So this bed in particular has to come out, the one next to it can stay because the retaining wall's coming out on the outside of that garden bed. We'll just pull that out at a later date. The ferns have been chopped off and they'll be used as mulch down the back. Um, but the actual crowns themselves, they're a little bit trickier to get out. Uh, we did get uh, a couple of small ones out to begin with. And then we decided to get one of the um, larger groups in the center out. Um, and yeah, I broke my fork doing it. So I had to improvise and fix it up um, with an old fence post. A few folks who told me that I couldn't grow them in a, uh, wicking beds for any length of time. These guys were in for eight years. You can actually watch the planting out video for the first bed here. I think the second bed maybe as well. Uh, just up in that little corner and down in the description, I'll have a link as well. So yeah, it's looking a little bit strange out the front here. Oh, by the way, that's a Chinese celtus we need to um, take out. Once this garden bed goes, I'll dig it out. So the crowns we saved and these guys as well once we pull them out they'll be going along the edge of a retaining wall and we're having one that comes along the front of the house here just on the other side of the car there and then um, coming back up the hill a bit 
So Bianca and I were just talking about it before, we'll make a nice wide garden bed in there and we'll pop all the asparagus along there, create a little bit of a green border. And this is what happened with all the soil from the bed. So it's just going to sit out here until the retaining wall um, is built and then we'll use it in something else. There's probably a couple of small crowns in there as well so you never know, they may take off. But yeah, the uh, retaining wall is coming out about another um, 4 inches or 100 mil from that edge there. So probably about there so we can just leave that there and let it get buried. And what we're hoping to do once we get rid of the weed trees here is put in some Australian natives for the birds. So these are the crowns that we took out, a couple of dozen crowns if not more and we'll be giving a load of them away to family and friends as I said. A lot will stay here as well, I'll pop them in wicking barrels or something, root pouches, just until um, we're ready to pop them down in the ground. And this is the turmeric score, this is everything that came off the um, plants or the mothers as I was digging them out. A lot of these darker ones, that will be last year's growth. And then um, all this newer stuff is fresh turmeric. Um, yeah, not really something you want to save for growing, I don't think. So what I'm doing is all this um, more mature bits and pieces. I'm just popping them aside for supporters. As a bit of a thank you for um, the Aussie supporters, I'll be um, yeah, giving some of this away. And the local ones can come and pick up some of these guys here, which are the um, just intact mothers I've pulled out. So um, there's a mother with a load of little side shoots on it and I reckon if you pop that in the ground now it's going to be warm enough for long enough that yeah it'll bounce back to life come next summer. And this big clump up here is one that I'm keeping for us to replant. I mean look at the size of that mother even up that far. It's um, still got some usable turmeric in the centre. Nice big one so yeah very impressed with how easily this stuff grows for us in our climate here. And if you are interested in how to grow the turmeric, yeah, you can click on that little link up in there and it'll take you to a clip I posted a couple of years back. But yeah, mighty chuffed with what I got up to today. As I did mention yesterday, I will be posting a video looking at our plans, uh, the design for the property. Um, but I'm not too sure whether I'll do it now or I might wait until the retaining walls are up just so I can see what we have to work with. I've got a rough idea, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they work the water coming down the side of the house and how we can get it going out the back. So I might wait until that. Um, but yeah, I do hope that you've enjoyed this little bit of a look at the um, getting ready for the landscaping anyway. Just a quick thanks for you folks who do pop back and yeah, check on what's going on here every week. Really do appreciate it. And also a special thanks to you folks who are supporting us through the YouTube membership program or our own Farm Your Own Yard supporters page. Thank you very much, folks. I will pretty much leave it there though. I do hope you're all well and happy in your gardens and aquaponics is booming and I'll catch you next video. Cheers, folks. Take it easy.